In this lesson, we learn how to form composite functions. A composite function is formed when one function is acted on by another function. For example, the function of g of x is acted on by f of x. g of x is the input of f of x. For example, if g of x equals x squared and f of x equals x plus 3, calculate f of g of x. This means that g on the inside is the input to f of x on the outside. We substitute the g of x function into the f of x function. This backwards arrow shows us which function goes into which. g is being substituted into f. So we start with f of x, which is x plus 3. To find f of g of x, the x has been replaced with g of x. This means that every x in the f of x equation must be substituted with g of x, which for us is x squared. Instead of x plus 3, we have x squared plus 3. We replaced x with g of x. Last time we found f of g of x. This time we will calculate g of f of x. The order of composite functions matters. We use the backwards arrow to help us. Here f of x is substituted into g of x. We substitute the f of x function into the g of x function. So we start with the g of x function, which is x squared. To find g of f of x, we substitute x with f of x. The g of x function is squaring x, so we will be squaring also. But instead of x squared, we have x plus 3 squared. We replaced the x with x plus 3. Notice that we need brackets around x plus 3, because we are squaring the whole thing. Here, if g of x equals x squared plus 5x, and f of x equals the square root of x, calculate g of f of x. Using the backwards arrow, f of x is substituted into g of x. We start with the outer function, g of x equals x squared plus 5x. To form g of f of x, we replace the x's with f of x. This means that every x in the g of x function is replaced with the square root of x. The first x is squared, so we put a bracket squared. But instead of x, we put the square root of x. We then have plus 5. And instead of x, we have the square root of x. Both x's have been replaced with the square root of x. We now can simplify. The square root of x and the square functions are inverse functions, which can cancel out. The square root of x squared is just x. We then have plus 5 square root of x. g of f of x equals x plus 5 square root of x. If g of x equals e to the power of x, and f of x equals ln x minus x, calculate f of g of x. We substitute the g of x function into the f of x function. We take the f of x function of ln x minus x, and every x is replaced with g of x. So both x's here will be replaced with e to the x. We have ln, but instead of x, we have e to the x. Then we subtract 
but instead of x, we have e to the x. We simplify. Lun and e are inverse functions, which cancel out to leave x. We then have minus e to the x. f of g of x equals x minus e to the x. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.